This counts 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. And we are here for 10 minutes or less. So <laughs> let's start the timer. But dang. TNT, yeah. I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to make sure we did an episode about uh, the, well, start an episode with this because it's important. Uh, they have officially changed the number of the suicide hotline to 988. I'm By the time sorry. this comes out, it should be active. Just so, 988 what? That's it. Like 911. But nine, you hit 988, and it will connect you to the local, a local uh, mental health counselor. And if they're not available, it will route you to one, another one. That so it's so instead of having, <laughs> I saw in the Reddit comments the first comment or one of the ones it was like logic and shambles because <laughs> he did the. <laughs> he did I the know, song right? Out. But uh, <laughs> so yeah, so the uh, yeah the the whole okay. whatever the number was now all if you're having a mental health crisis all you or you can either text it or call 988 and it'll connect you to a mental health professional. Okay. So I was like, that's really cool, man. Because that number was not, it wasn't like it was 1 888 888 888 It was like, it was, it was just know. a random number. Yeah, right? I'm not a logic fan, so I don't right, know. Right. So yeah, 988. And I, so I thought that was cool. I heard that was coming into effect. It, it went into effect the middle of July. I'm not sure when this episode's coming out, but it's. You know be. what I do have to say, Jones? We were talking on a, on a previous podcast about something that America does that's good. And I think that this oh, service yeah. is, 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 I don't know if it's a service that's offered in a bunch of, uh, uh, first world countries but right. it's 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 a very cool service to have just well, to really have that is. ability because there's a lot of people that of course they're whenever you have any service there's going to be people that abuse it whether right, right. it be this or whether it be you know certain forms of health care like, that yeah, people food feel stamps welfare i mean any, any sort of public service people will abuse it's yeah, just the, absolutely yeah so you know whether it be this or some certain types of health care that people should probably have because it's their decision, you know, people are going to abuse it. Right. And there's right. also that people are going to use it for the reason that it's going to yeah. save some lives in a lot oh, of Oh, I reasons. guarantee you that the suicide hotline has saved a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, there's a lot of people who don't have friends or family and they're just by themselves and they're depressed or lonely. They, you know, but like you can at least have somebody to talk to. And it's great because you can even text if you like, I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough motivation to call. Yeah. You can send a text message like, yeah, and, and, and somebody would, can get back to you. You that know, would be cool. That would but, be cool. But I'm sure there are people who are so lonely they're just like, hey, and they're like, I mean, they hi, what's your emergency? They probably need it. I'm man. just lonely. <laughs> like, but you know what? If you're so lonely yeah. that you need to reach out to the suicide hotline to talk to someone just to talk, yeah, that you there's more to that than just needing to talk. Jonas, great idea, great idea. We're doing this now. All right, what's you, that? You already signed up. Excuse me? You're already signed up. We're going to call the suicide hotline and interview the suicide hotline Oh, operator. Jesus. I would definitely interview someone who works there, but, like, tying up the phones to do it is not probably the best. <laughs> no, Jonas, you can pretend to have a mental breakdown. Oh, Jesus. And then we, yeah, can, talk, we can talk about it. So, but no, anyways. You're not, you're not game? All no, right, I'm not. Fine. That's fine. Anyways, if you need help, go find it. 988. Um, but anyways, tying off that, I saw another story that has to do with health. Um, United Healthcare, the insurance company, is said it will now eliminate copays uh, and other out-of-pocket charges for some of the most widely used drugs next year. Oh, it's about time. They, uh, one of them is a uh, naloxone, the over okay. the overdose drug. It says. Yep, yep, yep. Um, what else did it say here? Uh, uh, that's uh, that's your Narcan. And then epinephrine. Epipens. Okay, uh, that's for anaphylactic shock. Glucagon. Glucagon, that is a... Uh, Low blood sugar. Yes, that is a DM... Uh, a buterol. Which for asthma. Albuterol. Albuterol's on there, too. Really? And I think it was... Wow! And uh, I think it was... So, life-needing medication, or, you know... Yeah, like stuff that people, that people need. need. And I, th I, I swore it's in insulin. Insulin. Yeah, yeah so yeah, they're basically... Yeah. If you have United Healthcare, you can get your insulin for free. You can get your blood blood sugar shit for free. Yeah. You can get your EpiPens if you have allergic shock. You, if you yeah. have asthma. That's for All like that bee stuff sting, was, if you're allergic to bee stings or fish or... Or you or overdose... You know, Narcan but, is for the overdose. Yeah. The uh, the glucagon is for like if you have a like really low blood sugar and you go into like oh like a sugar tablet essentially. Yes, that's, yeah, that's yeah. to bring you back. So yeah, that's stuff that could save somebody's life. All of those are things that could save people's lives, and they shouldn't. They should be free. Yeah, so I'm not gonna sit up here and be like, oh well, you know, pat on the back for them, suck my dick. They no, should have did yeah. this years ago. <laughs> right, like finally time, and then yeah. the finally other... you realize that people's lives aren't worth your fucking money. It's right. about time. Exactly. And then the final one that I saw that was in regards to that was uh, the state of California 
oh, is, is has allocated a hundred million to start making its own insulin, so to make it cheaper to the residents of of. Good. Uh, of good, good, good. So like, yeah, I mean, do I want the government making my medicine? Not really, but I almost trust the government the government better than I trust big pharma. Absolutely. So, you know, it's like the devil, you know, the devil you don't, but you know, big pharma ain't looking out for the humans. Exactly. Humanity. I feel like at least, you know, there are some peoples in, in the government who actually, you know, care about people and are trying to make policies that, that help the every man. And Big Farmer, I just everybody's Martin Scarelli to me. All right, Speaking, everybody's right? Scarelli. Speaking of which, you see, he got out of jail or yeah. something, and he's like, and he starts like going to, he starts talking online like he's a stock wizard. He goes on and starts hey. talking about stocks, and I'm like, and people hey. were, were like, aren't you the a hole who charged nine million dollars for a life saving pill? Hey, hey, it's better to be infamous than it is to be unknown. My I man. don't know if that's true. You don't know? What if you don't want to be known? That's what infamy is. No, no, infamous is like everybody knows you because like you did something that, that no one can forget. The, the Im, famous is that. No, infamous, like infamous is famous for the wrong reasons. Right, Being yeah. famous for something bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but at least we just said his name. Everybody knew it when I said who his name was. Well, but that, You can I make like, money off of that. But I feel like that guy did it because he knew it would make him that. He part part of that he wanted. I don't think he realized it would get him in so much trouble. I don't know. I think he just wanted the money, and he was like, "If I can get away with it, cool." And then everybody was like, "Hey, you're a hole." And then he was like, "What?" And then he's like, "Oh, you're going." <laughs> yeah, to jail. He was like, "What?" <laughs> he was like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> he was like, "Oh, now I'm in jail." And he was like, "Oh shit." He's like, "I'm still rich when I get out." He was yeah. like, "I still have a cell phone in jail. I'm still making, trying to make podcasts from prison." Yeah, dude. I'm like, what the hell, man? I, I just a- hope that if I ever ever go to jail, I get to go to the the club fed club in- fed. instead of like the 60 days in jail you ever been in jail Johnny? no never. i should tell you that story one day i think you've mentioned it before i have i've been i've been to uh like lock up <laughs> like one time sometimes everybody it, loses their cool case it was, <laughs> i mean you're a very like mellow man but ever everyone has a limit right no, it like, wasn't nothing like that jesus man what do you think i am <laughs> Out here, somebody cut you off. You threw a threw a shopping cart through their back a, window. It was a goddamn suspended license, my man. It wasn't that bad. It's not like I'm crazy, but they still took my black ass to jail. It, was, it sucked. It sucked, man. But they yeah, did give me, they did give me Burger King. They they gave you Burger King. Why the hell would they give you Burger King? I got two croissant sandwiches and the mini hash brown sandwich. Really, they got you two croissant sandwiches. <laughs> I'm a big guy. Dude, people here in 60 Days In are eating slop off a tray. <laughs> These cops are buying you Burger King on the way through. Did That's they buy it for you? Like, they didn't even make you yeah. pay? Yeah. Like, why? It's in the budget. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, TNT. Uh, would you like sausage or bacon croissant? Which is <laughs> well, Officer Job is on his way out to go Yo, pick up the rounds for the crew. I was super cool with the officers, man. Because, like, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I mean, what else can you do? But, like, here's the thing. Yeah, I'm like, like, okay, you're going to take me in. You, you really don't have to handcuff me, but if you feel like you need to, let's go. Right, like, and that's what I think the mindset should be, right? Like, at, at every point, at, at any point with, with the police where you're going to go to jail, there's a moment where you realize, I'm going to jail. Yeah, all right. So, cool. like, let's go. why... Why not make it the most pleasurable experience for everyone yeah. involved? I'm not here to complicate. Right. Like, oh, I'm going, oh, thank. Okay, yeah, here you go. Like, because right, man, let's go. the nicer you are, and this doesn't just go with police interactions, the more, like, regular and normal and kind you are to anyone, yeah. the better the interaction's going to go. No, essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, like, like what you said, you're like, oh, well, you got to take me in, so I'm going to be cool. And then they bought you effing Burger King, dude. Like, they, like. Yeah. I don't know if they got it for everybody either, but I know I got mine. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that they just like, they're like, uh, let's go, uh, uh, officer, go get the rounds for the BK order. <laughs> I, had my, I had my arm out of my balls. Hey, thanks for the, thanks for the sandwich, Larry. <laughs> yeah, as you're walking out and everyone yeah. else is like, r- their, their tin yeah. cup on the bars. I was like, ooh, actually, Officer, S- Officer Simmons. Officer- yeah, can I have jelly for my biscuit? You're, yeah, you're like, excuse me, they don't have cheese on my croissant sandwich. Are you going to take that back for me? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I got you, inmate 12784. <laughs> Jesus. 12784 wants more jelly? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Officer Smith, uh, take this croissant sandwich back. It doesn't have any cheese on it. <laughs> right? That's- yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got, got you, sir. It's great. Yeah, dude. Great. So, but anyways, yeah. Uh, yeah, suicide hotline. Call it if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, started out. Is that what this yeah, about? started out suicide hotline. We're calling them, Jonas. Next episode, yeah. we're calling them. All right, but uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas TNT. Oh, uh, we out.